Just shoot for the stars If it feels right The name for my heart Hey mommies, it's Sarah. It's Welcome back to my channel. This video is all about my diet and all about my exercise. We're excited to be doing this with my friend Rachel from the channel Glow of Grace. I'll leave her channel listed below as well as the link to her video. We became friends um, because we're both working with Abby as a trainer and we met in Abby's Facebook group. So we got to talking and, and we decided it would be fun to share our diet and exercise routine with our subscribers. Though we train with Abby, we both are doing a little bit different um, of a workout as we both have different um, fitness goals and things like that. It would like be fun to do this as a collab so you guys can get different ideas. What works for me doesn't work for her and vice versa and we know that that can cater to a lot of people out there. If you're already subscribed to her then you've clearly been living under a rock her channel. She's a new mom and her daughter is seriously so stinking Come over to her channel, subscribe, tell her I sent you. She is super sweet. Um, I consider her a very close friend and I'm excited to be doing this with so, her. I'm gonna stop blabbing, I'm gonna get right into it and I'm gonna talk to you guys first about my exercise routine. If you've been with me for a, a while, you know that in January I started working with Abby. She has a beauty channel and she has a fitness channel. I'll list both of those below. She's a certified personal trainer but it's all done on an online app called TrainerUp nice. with her. It's a monthly basis situation. Each month you can switch things up or you can stick with your current routine. It's totally up to you. You can sit down and figure out what's going to work best for you. And then Abby will customize a workout specific to you. If you please do not be intimidated by working with her. She has you fill out a questionnaire and it helps her get to know what your fitness level is, what your likes are, what your dislikes are, so she can really cater to a pro, you know, cater a program that's going to be perfect for you. Before I get into what I'm currently using and what I'm currently doing, Abby has offered me a 50% off one month of training for all of my subscribers. If you've ever, ever contemplated working with a trainer through online means, now is the time to do it. It is 50% off. It's not going to get better than that. So again, I'll leave that link below. It will be good for one week. It'll take you right to where you want to sign up. Also, Abby's page has all the, way, the ways you can contact her. Ask her some questions. Speak with her. You'll decide whether it's right for you or not. Either way, I'm really, really enjoying it. So I'm going to get into what I've been doing. The program comes with an app. It's called The Trainer. She builds her workouts into this app. So not only is it convenient, you can take it with you on the go. If you're going to be away from home, you'll have it right at your fingertips. A lot of the stuff you can do with little to no weights. It's amazing. So what I do is I try and do five to six solid days per week. Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays are the days that I have set aside to run. I recently um, started getting into running. I'm doing the 10k for pink by Zen Labs. It's a free app on um, my iPhone. Again, it splits up the weeks and tells you what you're going to do. For example, the next time I run, you have a brisk five minute warm up walk. Then you're going to do two repetitions of the following. Jog for 90 seconds, walk for 90 seconds, jog for three minutes, walk for three minutes. You're gonna do that twice and then you'll have a It's challenging. I'm not fast by any means. Um, I'm aiming for about a 10 minute mile. So I set my treadmill to make sure that that's the pace that I'm working with. But I really, really like Abby has built in a ab routine. Now there's three different ones, so each day it changes. You have all of the workouts, how many sets you're supposed to do, how many reps you're supposed to do, and then they all come with the video. So if you have no clue what in the heck, let's say for example a frog crunch in, Abby has put together a short little clip to show you exactly what it is. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday I do different things. For example, one day I'll do chest and back, then the next day I'll do shoulders and arms, there's a leg workout, and then on Sundays, which typically is my rest day, she has um, yoga um, built into the app in case, you know, I want to go ahead and partake in a little yoga. So I really, really like that this is basically all that I've been doing. Now my diet. For weeks, I have been vegetarian. Now, I'm going to use the term vegetarian loosely because 
what I practice and what I choose to do um, and what lifestyle I'm choosing to live is, is a little bit different than, than vegetarian. Um, I fall in a very weird category of people where I'm pescatarian, which is a vegetarian who eats fish and seafood and shellfish and whatnot. But I'm also an ovo vegetarian because I'm a vegetarian and I eat eggs. Unfortunately, to my knowledge and based on my research, there isn't one term that classifies what I do. And then I also try to not consume dairy, no milk, no cheese, no butter, nothing of that sort. So that then, if you're vegetarian and you don't do that, then you're kind of vegan, but I'm not 100% vegan because I don't fall in that category 100%. So I dab a little bit in a few different things. It's really working for me. I really, really like it. I'm actually really surprised at how easy it has been. Um, we took a road trip and I was able, to, we stopped at the gas station. I was able to find something to um, fit into what I'm choosing, you know, how I'm choosing to eat. I, the place that we went, um, I got shelled pistachios and I got baby carrots and that was what I got to snack on. Um, the only time that I've ever had an issue was when we were up north visiting my in-laws and we did go to this one place for lunch and they did not have many options for somebody who's vegetarian. Um, they had several salads on the menu. They all had protein and they all had cheese. I, I realized I could order them without, but then basically I was be ordering a garden salad, which why not order that there's cheaper. I was quite shocked that they didn't even have a fish option, like a fish sandwich or anything like that. So I ended up getting a garden salad. I said, oh, we have this California blend soup and I'm like oh you know she's like it's got broccoli cauliflower carrots I'm like oh that'll be perfect I guess this shows you how new I am at it I didn't ask if the broth was animal based which obviously if it's chicken broth it's going to be chicken based ask if it was cheese based because that's obviously dairy and so when she brought it it was a creamy cheesy soup my garden salad and that worked out fine but I'm really 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 enjoying it. Well, there um, have been studies out there, you need your protein, you need this. Everything that I've read said that if you're eating the amount of fruits and vegetables that you should be eating on a daily basis, then you shouldn't be having any issues getting protein into your diet. Again, I do eat eggs, sometimes I eat cheese, sometimes. If, you know, I'm out with the family and we're having pizza, obviously I'm not gonna be like, oh, we're not gonna have pizza because I can't eat it or I'm choosing not to eat it. I've really, just really enjoyed it. I've embraced it. I, I've been doing tons of research. I've, you know, different blogs, getting different ideas on, on you know, recipes. A typical day for me, um, in the morning I've been juicing. I got a Breville juicer, which I am obsessed with. Um, so I'll do a juice for breakfast, which normally it consists of two medium, two medium apples, six carrots, a quarter of a pineapple, a half of a lemon, and a thumb of ginger, and I that's what I'm choosing to have as my breakfast. Yeah. Um, I will have, normally I'll have like nuts, um, usually al raw almonds or raw walnuts, and then lunch lately has been, which it has been my obsession, is spring mix, a handful of craisins, a handful of walnuts, I've been taking a tiny, tiny bit of blue cheese, and then I've been um, putting a poppy seed dressing on that, and that's what I've been having for lunch. And then my snack in the afternoon, because I'm tending to get a little bit more hungry in the afternoon, you know, closer to dinner time. Um, Morningstar makes these really, really delicious buffalo chicken wings, and they're they've got the taste of the buffalo, but obviously it's not chicken. It is. They are so good. Like I absolutely love them. They're they're like delicious and I think you get five or six per serving and, and the, the, the stats on them aren't bad at all and so I've been doing that and then dinner has been a pretty sensible dinner. We've eat, been eating a lot of fish. 
Um, a lot of fresh vegetables. Um, sometimes when my husband is making spaghetti for my daughter and him, I will take some zucchini and make like faux noodles and saute them with a little bit of coconut oil. And then I'll just put a little bit of pesto on that. And that seems to, you know, I feel like I'm eating pasta, but I'm not in, indulging in the meat sauce or having the noodles. Sometimes I have noodles. I mean, it just kind of depends on what I'm feeling. On the days that I run, I try to have something carb related for dinner just because it, it just makes me feel better and more energetic. That's what I've been doing. I know I'm kind of all over the place. I don't know if that really has given you any insight into my diet, but I mean, that's what a typical day looks Fresh like. Fresh fruits and vegetables, um, a lot of hard boiled egg whites, a lot of hummus. Oh, one of my favorite things to do is to take a hard boiled egg, cut it in half, remove the yolks, and then fill it with hummus, kind of like a deviled egg. That's really good. I've really been enjoying it. I've, I've kind of found that I really like fruits and vegetables. I really, really, really enjoy them, and they've been just becoming the majority of my meals. So that is all I have for you guys today. Hopefully that was informative. Again, Rachel's channel and her video will be linked below, as well as the 50% off for three training with Abby from 3S Fitness. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'm um, not pretending to be an expert. I'm not saying that my way is the best way of life. No, that what I'm doing is working for me. I feel better. I just feel more energized. I have less headaches. And it's working for me. I've, as I mentioned before, I'm doing a lot of research. I'm watching a lot of documentaries. I'm reading books. I'm just gaining as much knowledge about this lifestyle as I can. I'm not all knowing and I'm learning as I go. So please, 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 please be respectful of my choices and what I'm choosing to do in my life. Please just take that into consideration before you comment below. Um, and if you guys have any questions, leave them for me below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.